Performing chest compressions correctly is very important as this will ensure at least 20 to 30 percent of blood flow. In this video, we are going to learn chest compressions. Make sure that the victim is lying in a supine position on a firm, flat surface. While performing CPR, you must have a clear visible view of the chest. You may also be attaching the chest leads of the defibrillator or an AD during CPR. Hence, you should position yourself by the side of the victim. Remove any clothing so that the bare chest is clearly visible. Put the heel of one hand at the center of the bare chest over the lower half of the breastbone. Then put the heel of the other hand on the top of the first. Make sure your shoulders are exactly above your hands and your elbows must be straight and locked. Push hard and fast. Avoid pressing directly over the ziffy sternum as it can lead to serious injury. Press down at least 2 inches or 5 cm with each compression and deliver the compressions in a smooth fashion at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Make sure that the chest recoils completely back after each compression. The time for chest compression and chest recoil must be approximately equal. After positioning the victim on a firm surface with your shoulders directly over the chest, press straight down. While doing so, your arms should be kept straight and elbows locked. If you bend your elbows, you will fatigue your arm muscles more quickly. Compressions should be regular and smooth, giving same time for compression as well as relaxation. Be sure the heel of the hand is in contact with the chest wall at all times. Compress and release in a steady rhythm. Be sure to keep your fingers off the chest. Massaging or pressing on the chest with the fingers in contact with the chest wall may cause rib injury. One more error is rocking chair technique where compressions are done from side instead of straight down. Bouncing compressions are not very effective and can cause internal organ injuries. If you keep your hand crossed, it will make it more difficult to apply the right pressure. If you do not bring your shoulders above the hand and stay in sitting position, the chest compression will remain ineffective. So let us summarize most common mistakes which we must avoid during chest compressions. Don't be a rocking rescuer. Avoid bouncing. Avoid bending. Avoid double cross technique. Avoid massaging and don't be a sitter.